Inside of your working folder, you're going to find this image called Fog. Go ahead and open that up in Photoshop. Now, what I'd like to do to this image is apply a tone to it, like a sepia or maybe a cooling blue tone to it. And we can do that, of course. There are a lot of different ways that we can accomplish that. I want to do it through non-destructive adjustment layers, just in case I change my mind. So we come down here and we select Photo Filter. In Photo Filter, you have a choice between using presets, warm, cool, specific colors, underwater at the very bottom, or you can click right here and select any color you want. Let's stay with this right now. That's a warming filter. Down here, you have density and preserve luminosity. Those are your only two options. If I begin to increase the density of the color, you can still see some of that blue sky and some of the other colors. I can keep going, eventually wash them all out, but that's not what I want. What's luminosity? Well, luminosity is preserving the lighter areas. It's leaving them light because they're bright. If I turn that off, the whole thing gets washed out, whether it's dark or light. In most cases, for realism, you're probably going to leave luminosity on. But my problem, I don't want that much density. I don't want to wash the image out in a sepia color or any color. But unless I do that, I'm still seeing some of the blues up here. And if you have an image that's got more color in it, well, you're going to see more color. What we need to do is use the photo filter, but we also need to convert the image to black and white. Now, where you put the adjustment layer is very important, because right now we have a photo filter above background. If you put the black and white filter above photo filter, it won't work because the black and white filter is going to erase it. So I'm going to click background, then go back here and do black and white. So we can choose one of the defaults. I do like the green. Green filter kind of brings out some of that sky too. But you'll notice something. If I go back now into photo filter and click here, when I'm working with things like density, I have control. Now I do want to turn this back on. I don't have to worry about the wash of the other colors. I have control over what I'm doing. I can change in a cooling filter, maybe. Kind of like that. It looks kind of neat, but it's a bit much. I don't have to worry about when I'm lowering the density that the other colors are going to come back in, unless, of course, I turn that off. I do like applying tones to an image. I think it can warm them up, cool them down, create a mood. But if it begins as a color image, the first thing you need to do is convert it into black and white. And of course, the control is if we come back down here and click, we can get back into the image and control the colors that we see. You've got the control to be creative. I want to thank you for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials, and be sure to like us on Facebook.